Anyway, it's time for another Geo Guesser play along. This time we're doing a custom map. I've never played this one before. Uh, it's called Weather Spoons. I have no idea what the hell that is. We have nearly every single spoons on this map. 870. Not included are maps that are closed, not on Street View. We hope you enjoy made by Amber and Tom. All right, Tom, what do we got? Uh, talk to me. Bit of a fun map here to play today. All the Weather Spoons. Now, for those of you who don't know. I don't know what a Weather Spoon is. Oh, maybe aren't from Britain. Weather Spoons are. I'm not going to call them pubs. In fact, they're kind of killing pubs off. They're kind of like a super pub that you find in town centres, city centres, uh, with really cheap beer, and they don't play music. It's just quite a bustling atmosphere. And to be honest, yeah, thinking about it, why am I doing this? Why am I advertising Weatherspoons? They do kill off the pubs. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, we've all been to them. We've all got pissed in one. Oh, so true. Check. Hey, can I get an amen if you ever been... Walking around Stoke on Trent, just pissing yourself in a weather spoon, thinking, Oi, why is there a Northern Ireland and a regular Ireland? So, this is all UK. Well, this is a scam. I keep destroying him in play alongs, and now all of a sudden, he's doing a play along that's only the United Kingdom with a place that I learned about from him. Uh, there's no universe I win this. I didn't know what a, a weather spoon was until seven seconds ago. Maybe we'll see some drunken louts or some piles of sick or some other disgusting sight. Maybe we'll even get Aldridge, my hometown, which does have a rather interesting weather spoons. Here we go. Let's play it. Okay, so this is a play along if you guys have never done it before. Basically, he has a map that anyone along uh, can play along with if you guys want to play along. And we play first. Lock your guess, don't put it in, you just click somewhere, then you watch where he guessed, and then you see how you did comparatively. So let's get into it. This, I'm assuming, is the weather spoon. This looks like a bank. Food served all day, award-winning wines, Lavazza coffee. Are weather spoons the Walmart of pubs? Is that is that the vibe? Really sleuth and look around. See, normally I can use some signifiers to tell like, oh, we're driving on the left. The license plates are this, but everything's in the UK. So it doesn't matter if I know it's in the UK. I need to know where in the UK we are. Uh, it doesn't seem like a crazy big city. Certainly not any of the ones that have popped up here. I don't know. I, I have no clue. I think it's more mountainous the more north you get. Oh, no. Wales is very mountainous, though. I, I've never felt less at home than looking for weather spoons throughout England. Stoke on Trent. When in doubt, go to Stoke. I went to the United Kingdom only once in my life and I visited Stoke on Trent, which if you guys don't know anything about the UK, is like going to America and then visiting only Englewood in Los Angeles. And that's all you do. Not to say it's a bad place, it's just like, why? Why did you come to America and not go to like New York City? or Boston, or Santa Monica, Los Angeles, Venice, what all those places. Next time I'm doing a play along, and it's places I have lived in. And we'll see how well Tom does comparatively. I, I hope he doesn't get the city. That's my only prayer, is that it's not so obvious that he just binks the city off rip. I was gonna say it looks a bit Scottish, but we've got an England flag there, which you most definitely wouldn't find flying in Scotland. That is a place, isn't it? That's a place in Yorkshire or Lancashire, and the hills in the distance would back that up. Looks really nice. Uh, he's just going to school me. Uh, I, I'm not cut out for this. And the weather spoons itself, you know, not a hive of activity. Maybe this was taken recently during COVID. Might explain it. Wait, Boarding that's kind of close to me. To I guess it's Bolton, so my guess is right here. See, but Darwin, where's that? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What a phenomenal guess. If it's that actually Darwin, I, I did so well. What in a fact, tiny place. I'll tell you what's in Darwin. Oh. That massive chimney that Fred Dibner climbed up. <laughs> what? What? Is this an old British tale? He's got to be fucking with me. The old chimney Fred Dibner climbed up in in Darwin, UK. Ah, who could forget it? Why? I'm going to put a link to the um, video in the description. Is this like, is this like the UK version of Santa? Why does everyone know him? This must be one of the best chimney stacks in all of England. 
It's almost 300 feet tall and built in 1877. So he just climbs up this chimney stack on a ladder. Is he not like tied in at all? Is he just being a nutcase? Why wouldn't you tie in? For clicks? There's no universe where he did this for clicks. He did this before the internet existed. Anyone else's hands getting a bit sweaty right now? I always get a little moist when I watch people climb a little high. So you're telling me like Darwin, England, the city, is like, oh, fuck, you know what we haven't done in a while? And then uh, the other guy will be like, what? And then I'll be like, clean the chimney. And then I'll be like, oh, okay, well, we, there's only one man for this job. Let's call up Fred. Fred? Yeah, Fred Dibna. And then, okay, all right, I'll call up Fred. And then Fred comes over to Darwin and climbs up the chimney stack. One of the greatest men to ever walk the earth. He was climbing up chimneys and steeples with no ropes, just ladders and a bolt and a hammer. And then he'd attach the ladder, carry on up, absolute balls of steel. And he was doing that about age 60. But I can't see that chimney. Maybe the weather spoons is blocking it. Darwin. This is so unfair. Know. I'm going up against a guy who not only knows which town this is in, he also can tell me a fun fact that it has the biggest chimney stack in the United Kingdom that Fred Dibna climbed up with no rope. So there we are. There's the, oh, it's the market square. Nice. Cool. So I'm hoping for a perfect score and there it is. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, you got a perfect score. I got a bad. 4,446. All right. I actually did the best I could have done with absolutely no knowledge. That was cool. Next one. All right. Next one it is. We've learned about Fred Dibna. Hopefully we have some more knowledge here next to the corn exchange. Brothic. We must be in Brothic, right? Clearly. I am a little concerned for a few reasons, though. One, this feels like a very small town. Eddie's Kitchen. Open seven days. Oh. The A92. Okay, there is our ticket. The A92. The A92. There it is. There's the A92. Where does it start? Dundee and Montress. Okay, so let's just follow the A92. We're looking for Dundee and Montrose. Ah! Montrose, perhaps? But for this to be accurate, I would need a Dundee. Oh, there's Dundee. Oh my god, you're a mile away. Well, many miles away, I guess. If one direction is Montrose and the other direction is Dundee, I am somewhere in the center of both. Because... Broop, broop. I hope I'm not missing it. And everyone in chat is panicking because I've passed over it 1,000 times. Uh, all right, here's my new plan. Zoom in on some cities along the way. For me to beat Tom here, I need to put in a bit of effort. I can't just click between call it a day, although I would love to do that. <gasps> ah, we're in Arbroath. All right, we're in between the cycle hub facing the east. So we're here. No, the east, here. Yes, final answer. Hopefully he does not get a perfect score. Brothock taxis. I think this one is Scotland. But still no drunkards outside it. Must be COVID. Must... That confirms it. <laughs> He's like so Market sad that people aren't just pissing themselves. Angus cycle hub. All right, the goal is that he doesn't get a perfect um, score. That's Grey's it. End. Okay, our broth heritage. Okay, we've got lots of clues here. We can get this. Okay. He read that? He deadass read that. Our broth. Can we find the weather spoons? Yes, we can. It's right over here. The corn exchange. And this is where we are. Gravesend is the street name. I'm within four yards. Let me just beat you one round. Five yards. We're getting a perfect score on this one. Hey! Bring it out there. Greetings from Scott and Land, baby. Boy Sack sends its regards, Tom. Just kidding. Love Tom. Nothing but respect for Tom. Okay, focus. Uh, badger building. Sure, a building for badgers. This is the weather spoon. It's called re-badger building. All right, well, let's take a look. Brighton. Any badger buildings? I feel like we're in a marina of sorts because there's not sand. Badger, 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 badger. Bankers? Bankers? I think it's badger. But I could be wrong, which would suck. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I don't think it's right, but I am looking for a marina of sorts. 
The Taste of Thailand, Burger Boys. Could that be Burger Boys? No, that's building for sure. Ah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the L here because I don't think I'll find a badger building anytime soon. All right, let's see what he says. I would only be, be mad if because I because found out that. it was like in London. It's an old boy, an old metal boy, and we've got water down there. That is a big coastal building that might be in Liverpool. That might be one of the Liverpool apartment buildings in the docks. But I'm not sure. And that, the Badger building. The Badger? Is that Bodger or Badger? I don't know Either what Badger way, I is. I the mashed potato in that establishment. <laughs> um, no, I can't find this. No, don't go that and sweaty I'm on me. This Liverpool. She's going too sweaty. As I said, that I'm definitely going to get a perfect score. As long as it's not London. The Lodger building, I think that says. So it's not Bodger or Badger. Oh, no. We both read the it wrong. The Lodger building. The Just guess. I really do. Grip it and rip it, King. I Trust. Think that is that building. Yeah. I, look, look at it. Yeah. Look at the shape of it. You can I know. see. And scroll up to some apartments. Yeah. It's it's definitely similar, but it's then... It's definitely similar. We've got no buildings down here. COVID. Closed down. What other city could this possibly be? I want a perfect score, by the way. So shut up. Um, what could this possibly be? Take your time, is what I was saying. Take could your it time. Be London? Could it be <laughs> no. Canary Wharf? No. I was actually... It's funny you say that. That sort of area. No. It literally could not be the Canary Am Wharf. I disregarding that. In London. It's not. I wouldn't even look in London. Tesco's, Isle of Dogs. Get out of there. Get it. Ew. Yuck. Take your time. It doesn't look very Irish, though, does it? No. Like, could this really be Ireland? No, because of the number plates. So back to Liverpool it is. Yes! It didn't add up on the map, but I'm just kind of... Fuck the map. Just going to say, it is Liverpool, even though I don't think it is. I'll go there. Be intriguing to see where this actually is. No. It's fucking London! It's in the Canary Wharf! This motherfucker! It's in the Canary Wharf. It's the Ledger building in London at the Canary Wharf. Okay, so apparently we both scrolled over it. Wait, wait, wait. I got 3,000 points? Oh! Oh! He's gonna be so mad at himself. He's gonna be kicking himself for the rest of this goddamn episode. It was London. And it was Canary Wharf. <laughs> well, for God's sake. Yeah. It's the Ledger building. Hang yeah. on a minute. Hang I thought on, it was Amy. Badger. That's north. Yeah. The building is north, right? Yeah. So what the hell is going on there? Wait. Actually true. How is that possible? The compass is wrong. The compass is wrong. That's why we both got it wrong, me and Tom, because the compass was wrong. Otherwise... Had it been correct, we both would have gotten it equally correct. All right, well, now I'm in the lead. This feels really good, so I just need to do my best. The three John Scots. Okay, Scott, Scotland. Perfect. The three John Scots is the name of this weather spoon. Why do all these weather spoons look like court buildings? Burstall's solicitors. Solicitors? Is that a business? Soliciting? Scots. Oh, Logate House. This is a European plate. UK, England, 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 Europe. So we're close enough to Europe that European cars are filtering through. I think that's a... I don't know what that car is. A Citroën, perhaps the French car manufacturer, or it's something else, and I don't know what I'm talking about. Those are both possibilities. It is a huge fucking city. And it has the three John Scots and the Union Jack proudly displayed. I think this is Dover. Is Dover a tiny baby boy town? I think I overestimated the size of Dover. This place looking mouse-like in a way. What I am noticing about Dover is they slap the word Dover on fucking everything. So it'd be like the three Dover Scots. Jerkin Tings. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Uh, you know me, I'm Jerkin Tings. Oh. 
Okay. Cool. This is so small. No, uh, I need like a like a bustling town center. The three cups. Uh oh. I think three is an important number in England. Three cups, three lions, three John Scots. So across from this Weatherspoon is a giant cathedral of sorts. A capital building, a city square. I need to move on from Dover. I don't see any water, so let's steer clear of water. Ah, Leeds. More water. Everybody's got a river, huh? Capital, cathedral, weather spoon, clock tower. It's a city center. It's not a huge city. It's like a mid-sized. York seems mid-sized enough. City center. This place seems terrifying. House of Trembling Madness. The bloody tour of York. Oh, cathedral. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Zooming out on a city and finding a cathedral as if that's going to help me know where I am. In the United Kingdom. I, I would have to have the world's greatest RNG to randomly zoom in on a city. Find a city center. Find a cathedral. And then across the street, find the three Tom Scott's weather spoon. All right, we're going to get there. It's coming home. We're going to win it from the Brit. We're going to win it for America in the most American fashion, taking the culture away from them. It's coming home. It's coming. Football's coming home. Ah, I give up. I give up. I give up. I give up. I just don't have enough info. Like, if I saw it, I would be like, bang, that's it. Problem is, I probably also looked over it. I'm just going to stick with what I got. It's another big city. There it is, the three John. Oh, have we got drunkards coming out? I'm going to piss because it's going to take them so long to find. Maybe a bit worse for wear. Maybe spent a couple more hours than they should have done. Okay, this could be one that we don't get then, guys. There's no real clear-cut clue, is there? And with the perfect score out the window, it's not really worth me searching every city centre. Lovely old building. This is the thing with Weatherspoons, by the way. They kind of occupy very old historic buildings. That's kind of their thing. Uh, in Aldridge, my little hometown, it's an old Art Deco 1920 cinema. Sometimes they're very historic buildings like courthouses or libraries. Wait, they actually are uh, courthouses! Which, this one probably falls under that category, so they are interesting places to go. Some of you I know would like me to persevere and do that. No. Nope. Do you know what? I will. I'll speed it up though. I'll search. Not I'll search a couple of cities now for no. you. So Nottingham. Uh, no one wanted that. Southampton, Portsmouth. You got Bath. Northampton. Peterborough, Worcester, Granite many, Countertop. So many cities here in the UK. I'm just going to go with Nottingham. And admit defeat with this one. All right. But again, it'll be interesting to see where this is. Please, God. Wait. No! I went to Birmingham and it's in Hull. All right, final round. I don't want to stall too long because we're already a little bit behind. But we're up by 1,500. So let's just speed run this one. We're in the Regal. We're on a straightaway. Very narrow. Biker. Double-decker bus. Double-decker bus, big old cathedral there, classy red telephone booth. Three. This looks like a movie theater. Do they just? Is it just like fucking speakeasies? They're just outfitting anything to be it. Uh oh, Sagandis, Cambridge, Cambridge. Was that even Cambridge? I think it looks like Cambridge. I don't know where Cambridge is though. Cambridge. Okay, I think we're on this road, and that's to our south. So we are higher up the regal. Last one. Here's our last weather spoons, and this is an let's go. Movie. As I say, old cinemas. It's an old picture house. Better no, than the Brit the at discovering no. weather spoons. No, it's not. Nobody no. appropriates like an American. Looking around, I like this. My culture, baby. My it's culture. I really don't know. I'm really struggling. He's never gonna find it. I'm gonna beat him again. Pop. But park and ride. It's I a am a god at this game. Looks All right, like DMCA. A big church. Okay, let's see where we were. Hey, 
Yeah, we're Cambridge? in Cambridge, baby. Cambridge. Yes, sir. Wow. But Tom's Cambridge. been going easy on us. Yeah. Past three playalongs, I've up, beaten him. Get those Cambridge vibes, which are distinctive. Ever since he got the There's perfect the score. Summary. 13 4 oh, 6 in the end. Pretty naff. Yeah, well done if you beat me. I'm sure lots My of you God. Uh, even weller done if you got five correct cities. Well, that and would be absurd. Even weller done than that if you got a perfect well, score. That's a even weller effort. done if you got 18,000, I would say. Ah, you're a master if you got 18K or above. That's sure the line. As a result. So, yeah, take care, everyone. Have a good weekend, and uh, I'll see you all very soon. Later.